Let's see. Diesel. We're back home, man. We're back home. Come on. Come on, get out of there. Come on, bud. Good boy. So as you guys know, uh, this pickup is on a lease. Uh, long story, but that's what we decided to do. And the lease is up next spring or next year. Well, around this time next year. And the plan was all along to buy it out, right? But as those who know me know well, I keep changing my mind. I haven't changed my mind. I want to buy it out. But the thing is, the thing that's changed is my Volvo has been acting up, nickel and dime in me a little bit, you know? And if this continues through the year, uh, next year I'm going to want to trade it off for a new truck. My Kenworth. But a new Kenworth has very expensive payments. So what might end up happening if I get a brand new Kenworth, I may just bring this thing back at the end of the lease. And, uh... Wait till some other time in the future when I can get a new Silverado, a new pickup. But in the meantime, like we'd still have this thing. We still have the terrain. This thing's a tank in wintertime. It's all wheel drive. This thing will go through anything. It's not the most powerful engine in there, but she does the job. She does the trick, right? And I can put a hitch on the back of it there. We got, uh, we can get ourselves a little trailer. My father-in-law has left his little trailer here already that we could use. But if we have to, we get our own little trailer and I can haul away the garbage like I did today on the trailer behind this thing, right? And uh, we could do that for a year or two, a couple of years until we can get into a new Silverado. But what I'm saying is, if I get a brand new Kenworth, I'd probably have to sacrifice the pickup. I don't know if I can have both. But the semi is more important. Semi, semi, we call it semi up here. The semi is more important. That is what carries everything. That is what pays for everything. That is what moves us forward. This pickup truck doesn't make me any money, believe it or not. I know it's good looking. I could probably like give her a bath and, you know. But being good looking doesn't make you money in this world, unless if you're a woman. <laughs> so that truck doesn't make me anything, but the semi would. So uh, we got big decisions to make in the next year, in the next 12 months. We'll see. It's just a heads up, this is an option. Option, get rid of this thing and get a new semi. We'll uh, use this thing for a few years. Right, Diesel? Put a hitch on her, she'll be good. Let's we'll see where we go from there. What do you think? I don't know what to think, man. You change your mind every day. I don't even know, man. Yesterday, you're like, I'm going to buy the truck. And today, you're like, maybe I won't buy the truck. The other day, you're like, maybe you buy a new truck. Then you're like, no, I don't need a new truck. And <laughs> don't walk away from me while you're talking to me. I know, I think out loud a lot, and I dream out loud a lot. So, uh, like, I, like I said before, my motto is, huh, let's see what happens. No idea. Let's go back in the house, Diesel. Let's go back in the house. All right, so we're all set up here, disinfected again, and we're just looking at our map here. And uh, this is I-29 in Grand Forks. Those two dots is Grand Forks and Fargo. And there is flooding by the Red River here. And I've been warned that this is closed. So I went to go check it out myself. So here's the Red River. This is, this is the river that comes all the way up into Canada where I'm at here and we're gonna have to turn here oh this phone won't stop beeping now of course go over to Grafton and then head on down here and then looks like here we can get back on to the interstate right there in Manville so always check Google if you're curious it's got the best info so we'll see what happens here test we're sitting at about probably 78,000 pounds gross so uh, it'll be flat lands for the most part until we get through Minnesota a few hills in Minnesota but the 
big hills or the bigger hills will be in Wisconsin. That's where we'll be able to really test and find out, see if they say it was air in the fuel. But I thought that's what we had last time and I thought we fixed that. So air in the fuel again. I guess we'll find out once we actually get somewhere we need to pull hard for a long time. But I really hope so. I really hope so. We'll find out tomorrow. Not sure how far I'll go today. Might just go down to Fargo. We might go to Rothsay again in Minnesota. More likely we'll end up there. Gotta be thankful that we're working, right? That's the sign say. I-29, closed ahead. So yeah, we're here at the exit 176, just like Google said. So I was right. If you ever want to check on your route to see if there's any closed roads, check on Google Maps, turn on the traffic option so it shows you the traffic. It'll show you where all the closed roads are. So here we're going to go over to, I believe the town's called Grafton, right? And then head south down towards, oh, what's the town called again? Minova, North Dakota? Anyways, it's exactly where we thought this was, exactly where we saw on Google that the road was closed. Up ahead, the Red River is crested because of spring flood. It happens every year. And uh, this year's a little higher than usual, I guess, and it's flooded over the I-29. So we will go around the flood. The Red River's just off to our left about uh, a few miles, maybe a mile or two. Grafton, yep, toward Grafton. Exit 176. This isn't uncommon for this area. The crest right now when I'm filming this is around this area here between Fargo and Grand Forks. Uh, in the next few days, the crest is expected to make it into Canada and uh, hit our southern communities in Manitoba as it makes its way up towards Lake Winnipeg through and around Winnipeg on the floodway. And then eventually it goes into the Hudson's Bay way up north. Spring flooding. Fun times, eh? So I guess we get to take a little bit of the scenic route. favorite Minnesota truck stop in this region or our most common one anyways I don't really have a favorite I don't want to play favorites we're in Rothsay Minnesota and this is where we will lay our head tonight oh and my spot is open too fantastic proceed to the highlighted route now I'm gonna proceed to the sleeper as I am proceeding and proceed to my parking spot and proceed to the back my day is over Doing an exact repeat of our load down to Wisconsin last week. Stopping at the same spot tonight, and we'll stop at the same spot tomorrow night as well, but it's gonna be different. So I still need you to watch the video. <laughs> It'll be different, we'll make it different, I promise. 